Ibrahim is a patient that I met years ago now when he came to our hospital and had a number of problems that his specialists realized were unusual. The joint problem, the cancer, all these other things that people had never seen before. And so they came to uh, came came to, to us because we had some capacity to look um, at what was going on through our research program. And that's how we met Ibrahim. And we've worked with him now for well over three years to, d to find out that he's the first person in the world with this problem. This discovery is a team effort. The team centered around Ibrahim, but it involved medical genetics doctors, orthopedic surgeons, pathologists, oncologists. And then on the research side, we were led by, by Mehal Sharma that had a whole team of people working together to understand this. So this is a, this is a, a, a win for team science and for collaboration between, between research and clinicians. We were looking to see whether one gene was causing this one particular gene was, could be the cause of the disease of Abraham. And the disease was like, reg, uh, like cancer twice, like a B lymphoma twice, and then joint problems, like difficulty walking and everything. And we did find that this one particular gene was the cause of the disease that we had seen. This technology is just still very new. It hasn't been implemented worldwide. So as people around the world start using this technology, we will really get to know how rare it actually is. It's the most important, this particular finding, is for other patients that might come with a similar presentation. And then it'll be easy to make a diagnosis for them. Um, but also, not this kind of like research also gives us very really like strong insight into how the human biology works. So altogether, it's like it gives us a lot of insight. It's great for the it's great for Ibrahim. It ends his diagnostic odyssey. It's great for future patients, and it's great for science. Since I came to Canada, I told that like they tell, they tell us what's wrong with you guys. Are you okay? And I start telling them my story, and they. They transferred me here to the Children's Hospital and they start doing uh, x-ray, blood work and after like a while they find out that I am a, the first person in the world that I have this situation. Yes, and they treat me with the surgeries for my both leg and uh, I got better. He got cancer in 2018. And in 2018 I got cancer. Lymphoma. Yeah, I got cancer too. February 25. Yeah, actually, I'm really happy to help, like because the doctors really helped me here, and they make me feel better because I understand more what's wrong with me, so I feel better and I feel wrong. happy yeah. at the same time because I found out what's wrong, and uh, I'm feeling really happy and for other people because they get more like help more than me if they have a child like me before after and I'm I'm really happy to be here in Canada, in Canada. actually <laughs>